Hello everyone. This is Amir. Welcome to Git Practical session. In this session, I'm going to show you how to work on the synchronization. Nothing but how to update the code in Git using Visual Studio. In the previous session that I have already explained how to commit the changes in local repository as well as how to push the changes into the remote repositories and how to sync or then the repositories now in this session that i'm going to show you how to synchronize nothing but simply you are updating the latest code into your local repositories as well as the remote repositories by using different different options in synchronization that we are having what is exactly the synchronization is synchronization is nothing but update the code in your local repository with the changes from other members of your team so what are the changes someone has done or someone has committed the changes in remote repositories how you have to fetch the changes into your uh, local repos or local branches so for that thing that we are having different different options okay the first thing is that fetch fetch is nothing but it will downloads all the changes from your remote repository but it does not apply the changes in your code i will show you in uh, you know over there in live itself but let me go through the one of the one of each one of the thing then coming to the pull pull is nothing but you know which is a combined command that it will fetch the uh, fetch the files from the remote repository and then merges the changes into a local repository what about the push so if you see in previous uh, previous session that i have committed all in the local repository if you have if, if you are not attended this session please go ahead and check it out the previous session on the commit okay so i am just committing all in my local but i didn't push the changes to remote repository so so push is nothing but sharing your code whatever the changes have been made in the files you are just going to push the changes into your local from local to remote repository that is by using the push command okay what about the sync so sync is nothing but if you want to do all fetch and pull and push all the things are the combined thing so what are the changes you have to make it in the report repository as well as the local repository you are just going to use sync option over there in the visual studio team phone visual studio 2015 so let me show you in live how you are going to be doing this all the things let me switch to the visual studio 2015 okay so first of all as i have already explained we have to manage the connections first we need to co connect to the connections or we have to connect to the visual studio team services by using you know teams and manage connections okay as i have already connected to the visual team services first let me check out the changes are there or not okay if you see already there are zero changes and i don't want to publish anything as of now let me you know first of all let me go to the open my solution git training practice dot sln file okay so if you see this is my project so all are in sync so what are the changes are there for the synchronization how where i can find the synchronization if you see in my project i will find a tab called sync i'm just clicking on that one if you see there are the lot of options as synchronization if you see over here i'm having fetch pull option push option and sync so before going to do all these things let me sync once and after that i will make all the changes in front of you okay so i'm just using the sync option over here right so what are the incoming commits and outcoming commits from the other other application that i'm going to get it but as of now i will show you on live so let me make the changes first so what i will do i will just deleting one line and after that i'm adding a table simply this is let us assume this is my total chain and i'm going to build it and after that i can see the first of all let me see the view history so let me go to my team explorer by using control m so i'm going to the team explorer let me go to the home and let me see what are the changes are there so i have contact that aspx dot aspx dot cs and i've designer that what are the changes that I have made i just added a single line over here so this is purely not the development part that i'm showing i'm just showing what are the things has to do okay and after that if you see first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to commit in my local okay so i'm saying simply 
commit the changes in local local branch okay so how i can do i'm just going to commit all but i'm not using any other option that i'm going to use i'm just using commit all so what will happen when we are going to commit all it will only you know uh, commit the changes in my local branch only how can we know that one please let me know uh, if we go for the history of the whatever the branch that i have in my local right i am working on the feb development part i'm going on that one and i'm just view history clicking on the view history you can see the you know the last commit whatever i made it commit the changes in local branch right but if i'm going for the remote branch i don't have that uh, i don't have that change over there right if you see in the team explorer itself that i'm having different different features so first of all let me show you what is the push option right if you see i want to push my changes into the remote repository all right so how can i do that one so simply i'm go ahead and there are the outgoing commits are there in the sense i want to commit my changes into remote branch so how can i do so just i, I have checked all my changes in my local repository and just clicking push i can go ahead and internally it will commit the changes into the remote repository right right now i have done the changes i have just pushed the changes then i want to check it out has it been merged or it has been pushed to the uh, web development remote repository or remote branch let me check again by going to view history now you can see the commit the changes in local the same whatever the description that we have given it has been committed the changes or you know it has been pushed to the remote repository so this is the requirement that what i have that i want to keep all my first i want to keep all my changes in my local and i want to push it the remote required thing that i can go ahead and push the changes into the remote branches this is about the push now what are the pull right let me go to the uh, sync i don't have any pull or incoming commits over here so for that one what i'm going to do i'm just going switching to uh, you know web portal to make it uh, you know uh, a little bit changes over here but as i am a single user you know what i have to do i have to make the changes in my uh, web portal uh, repository itself i'm going to i'm just open my google chrome and after that i have given the url for the git project and you can see this test git is my project what i was having and git training dot practice is my uh, is my project right now what i'm going to make it i'm just making a small change in one of the file over here like another user has done something right so what i'm going to do i'm just clicking on code review dot aspx and i'm going to edit the changes okay as of now i don't see anything just i'm going to add one more file over here just simply saying so how can i do that one just i'm going to click ahead by using edit button and now i can edit the changes right so i'm just using oh, one more row i'm just adding tr okay and after that i'm simply closing the same uh, and i'm closing tr table row so now i'm going to save it right so i have made this change let us assume someone has some other user has done here this changes in your project okay and now if you see over here when i'm going to click on sync okay first of all i need to fetch the changes so fetch is, as i already discussed fetch is nothing but what are the incoming commits are there so it will fetch us all the incoming commits if you see i just made a change over here right so what are the commits has been done i'm just view the commit details once by clicking on the particular commit okay if you see commit uh, code review dot aspx i just made the changes right and if you see what are the changes happened over there it is comparing by two files right? i just simply added one of the table row right this is the commit of the file but if you see when i have clicked on the fetch it just fetch all the records from the remote repository all the files from the remote repository but has it merged into the my you know local repository let me check it out no so how can we confirm that one let me go ahead on the feb development which is in the uh, local uh, branch and i can see there is no change happen but i can see over there in the feb development from the remote repository 
that I can see the update code review dot ASP is the change that what already happened. So fetch is nothing but simply that you are fetching that uh, it is pulling all the incoming commits from the other team members, but it won't make the changes into your local repository. So what will happen? So let us assume you know what are the commits has been happen on the remote re remote branch. I don't want to. Uh, pull all the records or I want I don't want to measure all the changes into my local repository so what I have to do first I will check it out what are the commits has been happened on the particular branch or particular remote repository then I'm going to check it out and I simply I'm go ahead and I'm checking it run so now I want to make the changes into my local repository then simply we're going to go ahead and pull it so what will happen in the current branch it is going to be merging all the changes into your local report simply it is nothing but pull is nothing but it's the option of merging as well as fetching the data from the remote repository let me show you that one let me go to the branches and let me check it out in web development monthly that is whatever the view history is there you can see the change right now into the you know, local repository right till now we have checked uh, how to fetch and how to pull and uh, how to push the changes to the remote repository as well as the local branch right now we are going to check it out what are the that is the sync that we are going to check it out okay so for that one what what i'm going to do is i'm making a little bit changes over here uh, as of now i don't see any changes over here in my git so i'm going to solution explorer and i'm just making a change over here like i'm just adding a small td code changes over here with the td and I'm opening and just closing it. So over here, if you see in Team Explorer, I will see all the changes over here, right? So when I'm going to making the sync, what will happen if there is any incoming incoming commits as well as outgoing commits? It will happen all at a time. So let me show you. So how I'm going to do? I'm just ma making the changes. I'm just simply going ahead and go and I'm going to commit the changes with the commit all. So what will happen when I'm going to sync it, I will see the, the outgoing commits. For the incoming commits, what I will do, I will just go ahead in Visual Studio, uh, sorry, in the web portal, and I'm just making a changes in, uh, you know, uh, about .aspx space, let me edit it. And I'm just adding a small table, or let me add a small div. I'm just making a small change, that's it, okay? And I'm going to save this file. Now going to the Visual Studio, uh, let me show you the sync. Okay, if you see, there are multiple outgoings. There are outgoings as well as the incoming commits are there. If you see on my screen that I'm having incoming commits one and after that outgoing commit one. So if I'm going to use sync in the sense, all the files which are in incoming, incoming commits as well as the outgoing commits, as well as the local branch and the remote branch, all are going to be syncing at one time. So I'm just using sync right now. That is the option. So pulling the current branch as well as the pushing the current branch. What are the changes are there? If you see there, the outgoing commits are there and merging changes are there. All the things have been happened at a time. So you don't want to use uh, if you are very confident with the commit changes on each and everything you can simply go ahead and sync the changes whatever you have so based on that what will happen if you see in the vstf that you are having get latest code in the sense in the recursive way in the same way if you are very confident and you can get all the latest code whatever you require so and after that you can make the changes into the remote repository just you can use its sync option over here okay so as of now in this session that whatever we have done we have discussed about the fetch pull push and sync options what we have having as of now in the you no know, synchronization okay so in the later part of this session that i'm going to discuss about the uh, creating how we are going to create the pull request okay so i will show you in live how to create a pull request and how the code review will happen and how we can review it uh, or review the code review and all the things okay so Thank you, thank you for watching this video.
so i will be always available on boshar.tamir86 at the date of gmail.com if you an, if you have any queries you can ask me or else you can ping me on boshar.tamir86 at the date of gmail.com thank you thank you for watching